Welcome to the Bondi Scrapper channel. Uh, today's video is going to be a comparison between how much scrap value is in two different uh, gas cooktops. One being the expensive one, the Mealy, worth, well they're a premium brand here in Australia. Um, they do cost a bit of money. And uh, the other one being this one which is a Dolce and uh, this is the brand that was fitted to as the standard equipment in the apartment that I live in and um, yeah it would have been at the lower end of the price scale just to be polite about it. Um, I'm stripping these out, well I'm doing a partial strip out, I want the uh, stainless steel tops because I'm off to the scrap metal dealer today and um, I'm taking a load of stainless steel and uh, I really want to clean out as much as I can but um, just as a comparison straight off about how they're put together, uh, we can see here that the, the cheapy, the Dolce, has just got Phillips head screws and um, uh, maybe they're stainless steel, maybe not. They do look a bit, uh, they do look a bit rusted. And um, here we are, the Mealy, and it's got uh, Torx, Torx screws, and they definitely look like they're stainless steel. And uh, the other difference is that the Mealy is definitely heavier. Uh, it's got more weight to it and more thickness in this part here. Um, whereas the, the Dolce is, well the Dolce is, let's see, it's my first knuckle right through to it. And yeah, I would call that about 30 or 40 mil thick. And the Mealy is a uh, different finger. It's very technical, two knuckles. So, one knuckle deep, two knuckles deep, who knows. Uh, I'm going to take these off very quickly, I hope. What else can we find that's different? What about the knobs? Uh, yep, that's your highest quality plastic there. And uh, the Mealy is also plastic. Um, I did get, these were, these were the Mealy units were outside a, a set of service departments where they were renovating about 15, maybe 20 kitchens. Uh, I grabbed a couple of these because I was hoping to be able to replace my cooktop in my apartment. Um, that wasn't going to happen because uh, there was 5 millimeters difference between the size of the, uh, the gas cooktop and the hole in my bench top and I wasn't about to start cutting stainless steel and things. I wanted to be quick and easy. The good thing was when I pulled it apart, the part that was broken, which was uh, like a capacitor for the igniters, was exactly the same. So I managed to fix my existing cooktop, which was good. Uh, I did grab two of these. I've already scrapped one out and, and uh, got, it, got the bits and pieces out of it. Um, I could have had, I could have had, as I said, 10, maybe 15 of them, and some were six burners, but on the day I didn't realise uh, the potential for scrappage and mm, I was in a bit of a hurry too. Hi, there's the dog. I'm on doggy daycare duties today. The old fella's just wandering around like a lost soul. Poor little bugger. Um, anyway, let's get to it. Uh, we'll get this stainless steel part and then I'll come back to it another day to do the rest of it. So to get the cooktops off, it's as easy as pull all the knobs off. So I'll do that for both of them. And then the next job is just to undo these screws where the burners are. And hopefully, hopefully, the stainless steel bit will just lift off. Um, so you don't want to see me undo screws. That's boring. I'll get back to you in a minute after I've probably made some rude language. That's all the screws out. And so far, it's um, merely on the win. Uh, it's weird weird as because one screw is uh, or a couple of the screws are ferrous and uh, the other ones are well they're steel normal steel the other ones are um, stainless steel uh, the Dolce all of course are mild steel and uh, a few of them were seized into the um, into the alloy housing so they I just drilled them out because they didn't want to come out a uh, couple of the fasteners in the Mealy 
they just sheared off within the alloy housings. That's life. Uh, the mealy, at this point, you just kind of grab it and the lid comes off. And I've just got to pull those, uh, those little grommets out. And they just kind of twist down and push them in. That's it, all gone. Uh, I'll do that three more times. Yeah, I'll just just kind of push it down like that. There we go, that's two of them done. That'll do for the moment. I've just thrown it in the wrong bin, but that's life. Uh, and in here, integrated igniters in each pedestal, in each gas uh, regulator, I guess you'd call that. Uh, there's a bit of, bit of copper wire in there. Uh, there, aluminium by the looks of it. A little bit of brass in the um, in the jet there. Alloy here. Pull that out there. Throw that in the steel bin. Uh, so there's and here that there. That's all copper. That one and a uh, couple of other little bits and pieces. So that's not too bad. The Dolce. There's all the regulators. We took the knobs off. There's the igniter just there. So you got to turn it on there. Press that button to ignite, uh, which is a little bit old school, I guess. And I'm just kind of picking it up, and giving it a shake, and not too much is happening. Let's have a look. See what we can see. Oh yeah, somebody's been in there with the, uh, the silicon sealer. Oh, anyway, whee, anyway down there will do. And they, look, we've got a couple of more fasteners on the rear to undo, so I'm going to hook into them. So the four fasteners that I undid from the rear, they've um, they've managed to get it separated, but holy cow, there's some silicon on this thing. It must have been leaking into the underbench at some point, or someone just likes to apply silicon rubber to stuff. I'm going to have to clean that off before I uh, send it off to the send it off to the scrapyard. And uh, this is the opposite to the mealy, so half, well, yeah, so these, there you go, there's a money saving feature is that the gas burners are not connected to the base, they're just kind of floating in space and held in place by by the fasteners that were holding them to the lid, um, so yeah, I don't know whether that's good, bad or otherwise, but it's certainly a way to save money. Um, the power in there from the, from the wall socket, that's connected up to the up to the uh, the top as well because that's the base down there and that'll just be mild steel shred steel uh, earth wire connected to the top and I think that's it I think that's it so I need to undo three three more fasteners and then tidy up the top take the take the badge off this black there we are this black badge that'll just knock out should just knock out and then get a chis uh, scraper and scrape as much of this silicon off just so it's not um, yeah it's not too obvious I guess they're, they're kind of lenient but you know if you've got crap all over it they'll call it something else uh, I'll just do that so we're left with this I've taken the stainless steel top off and tidied that up the mealy one had a, uh, a mild steel plate silicon to it and I'm assuming that was something to do with uh, when the cooktop heats up it must buckle under the heat and so therefore it was there to stop it from buckling uh, so we're left with all the burners and the switches, and I'll get back to those later. Uh, the, and the oh, dog's doing something. Anyway, uh, and the bases of going off to the scrapyard today as well. I've decided to stop this one here. I think the wobbly cam will be causing some seasickness among some people. Uh, I'll be back with part two, which will be all the burners and valves. And I hope you enjoyed that uh, video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks.